From a distance, there is harmony. But up close, things really suck. Hey guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Kelsey. And here's Rachel. Hey, so two fighters are laying claim to knockout of the year. It's a little early in the year. Right? And yet, yeah, both of them have a legitimate claim. So we got the two candidates are right. Sugar Sean O'Malley, who did his first at UFC 250. Yes. And then, and then later on, on that Garbrandt. very same card, Cody Garbrandt. Yes. Yes. So and that's the one that's like imprinted in my mind, or so I think. Mm. Maybe my memory has misremembered both of them. So we're going to watch both of them, and then we're going to decide. Once and for all. <laughs> We'll end this debate for good. <laughs> the final word will be spoken. Final words. King O'Malley. Ooh. Look, he's good with that. That's where O'Malley's good. Right That's whenever he's going in and out, in and out, he does a fan. Oh. 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 Bada bing, bada boom. It was like a... Where does O'Malley in the room? How you doing? Like, big impact, right? Like, guy fell. Ref got in, O'Malley walked it away. It was short, it was like... But it was like, also somewhat, something quiet about it, which almost well, makes it a little more, like, dangerous. It was like pristine skill, and not like he kind of, like, baited the guy into it, and then, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, he, he kind of gave him a little shake, and then he threw that short, straight right hand, I think it was, because yeah. he's orthodox, and it just dropped him, and, like, he knew that it was was, and he walked away. Now, now, Rachel... Here's the one that is imprinted on your heart, your <laughs> mind, and I would argue maybe even your soul right now. All right, so now we're watching Cody Garbrandt's. Garbrandt's. And it's very effective. The Sun Sao attacks the body late in the round. <laughs> that one was just like, oh my gosh. Oh my they were both from oh right goodness. here. Yeah, well, one but of that, them was like a hook. One of them more like an overhand right. That the second one we saw, Cody Garbrandt. Yeah. One of them was a straight right hand, beautifully set up. I know that Cody Garbrandt's uh, knockout that night on Twitter on social media. I declared it to be the greatest knockout that I ever <laughs> seen in my life. And that, and I'm talking boxing, MMA, whatever. It's pretty good. It's pretty fantastic. It was. I mean. I don't know what it is. So, like, I'm a, I'm a, is it what's it, the camera angle? Do you think that had anything to do with? I think it's just. I mean, it's just like one. It looked like a video game. It's like a video game knockout. Again, these both of these guys are ranked contenders. We got one of them a former champion. One of them in the top five. And just the way he baits him in too, and he the duck down and come up and then to land it. That's a hard punch to land. Also, just try to do that on moving target. It's hard. <laughs> And he lands it clean, and the guy just kind of just goes sideways like a cartoon character. You know what I mean? Like, that, to me, is the better knockout. Well, they're both great, and I was like, super impressed. The other one, Sean O'Malley's knockout, the excitement, it's awesome. It's a great knockout. I'm not trying to belittle it at all. But I think that the excitement comes from, oh, this guy, Sean O'Malley. I love this guy. He's going to be the next Conor McGregor. He's going to be the new thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so there's a lot of that there. What I would argue that, just in a vacuum, you don't know who these guys are if you could somehow remove their whatever and they're just amorphous blobs. Cody Garbrandt's knockout is better. <laughs> well, here's my pick. Now that I've seen them both, refresh my memory. And I'm, I'm going to pick Cody Garbrandt's knockout as well. In part, using some of his reasoning, which is right. not only visually for some reason, his knockout just edges the other one for me. Just Both great, right. but his edges out for me. But I liked his reasoning, which was he was fighting a top-level opponent. Yeah, a really highly ranked, true contender in the division. Not, he, he's not a guy. I mean, yeah, he's not fighting so, a ranked guy. I don't know. He's just tough. I'm new to UFC, so I don't know if this uh, follows. But in boxing. Guys will have a lot of knockouts when when they're coming up, and that's because they're fighting not so great opponents. Their records will also be like <laughs> you know that I don't know. I mean, now I've yeah. heard that UFC is different. It's not. Quite I would the same. argue this is more like when Danny Garcia knocked out Brandon Rios, right? Like, like you're saying, like it's these well, who's Danny Garcia, O'Malley or Garbrandt? 
Danny Garcia. I'm saying that. <laughs> I know he's Danny Garcia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean Owen. Sugar Shot. Sugar Shot. I'm saying he knocked out a good, like, a good fighter. Okay. So it's not like just some guy that Top Rank brought in off the street or whatever to put on an undercard. Yeah. But it's not like he knocked out a legitimate top five contender. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, which is what Garbrandt is arguing that he did. And he did. So that would be like. Not only visually do I take that knockout, um, I feel like that that reasoning is sound. Now, O'Malley really might be the next Conor McGregor. And if he is, then I expect to see a lot more from oh. him. And you can, like, I will be perhaps choosing your knockouts, like, time and again. Here's something, too. Still have the rest of 2020 to, to get that knockout of the year to, as well. Yeah, you, yeah, he, you're right. He's already <laughs> fought twice this year since he came back. Listen, here's the best part. These guys can fight each other someday soon. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. Um, Cody had lost three fights in a row. But really, we watched the, I forget what it's called, pre-fight stuff from the UFC producers. Yeah. And we talked about how much he had put into this fight, all the different things that he changed about his training regimen to get ready for this fight. Man, he looks as good as ever, right? He that was a great really performance. good. Andrew and I wasn't lit. sure Straight when up. he came into that fight. His opponent, like I thought, I thought he, yeah, Garbrandt might were... lose. And a minute, like when they came in the ring, I was like, I think like, even, uh... even amongst like the smartest and best MMA writers in the world at Bleacher Report, I think there's only one that picked <laughs> Cody to win. Who was that? I can't... Oh, that was me. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I had called Ariel and Max Keller right. to talk. We, we the Mount almost... Rushmore. Of... I mean, don't ask them. About... If you ask them about it, they'll say it's not true. But it's just because it's an inside joke. <laughs> Anyway, hey, let us know. What, what knockout do you prefer? Do you prefer Cody Garbrandt's yeah. like us? Or do you think we're ridiculous and we should definitely be picking Sugar Sean O'Malley for the knockout? Yeah. And in whatever side you land on, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to Real Talk with Kelsey and Rachel. We're your best fight friends. We're here to be your best fight friends. And I can't really think of a way to end it besides that.